Hello, I'm Lawrence Anthony, and in this video I'm going to explain how to use the Ankunk Ngrams tool, which is part of the Clusters Ngrams tool in the software. Now another video shows you how to download Ankunk and get started with the software, so I'm just going to jump in and load in the journalism or press subcorpus of the brown corpus, which is a million words of general English. So I go to File, Open Files, and I need to navigate to my uh, corpus, which is the brown corpus untagged, and I'm going to select the A, B, C categories, which is press or journalism. I'll then click on the clusters engrams tab at the top of the screen, and if you go down to the bottom of the screen, you'll see these different search options, uh, words, case, regex, and the last option here is engrams, and if I click that, then we can do an engram search. This tool allows you to scan the entire corpus for n word clusters, for example, one word clusters or two word clusters. Uh, for example, n grams of size 2 for the sentence this is a pen would be this is, is a, and a pen. Now this is useful because it allows you to find common expressions in a corpus but without needing to specify a search term. It will look for all those clusters in the corpus. You'll notice when we do activate the Ngram tool, then the other search options are grayed out. We can't access those. We can't access the search box or the advanced search, uh, which is obvious because it's going to just look through the entire corpus for these patterns. However, we can set the Ngram size. For example, here we have the size 2 to the maximum of 2, but we can increase that to, say, 4. We can also set the minimum frequency of the n-gram, so I'm going to set that a little bit higher here to say a minimum frequency of 10, and then we can also set the range of the uh, n-grams, so I'm going to set that 3, meaning that the n-grams have all got to appear in all the files of the corpus and at least 10 times. Now if I start, the software will go through the corpus find all those n-grams and display them on the screen here. And we can see that um, we have uh, 11 n-grams with these criteria uh, and the total number of n-gram tokens is 149. So there's a quite a lot of results here. We can already see some patterns, for example, of the United States at the same time uh, one of the most, and this is the power of the Ngram tool. If you want to see how these phrases are used in context, we can click one of these, and then we will go to the concordance tool and be able to find those patterns, and we can of course sort those if we want. As with other tools, we can sort the results in, in various ways. For example, we can first sort by range, so we get uh, the uh, range being ordered there. We can uh, order by transition probability again, uh, and I've explained this before, how you activate this. I won't do that here. Uh, we can also order by the word, meaning alphabetically, so you can see here the A uh, at the top, and the, at the bottom, and we can also order by the word end as we could with the clusters tool. We can also do inverted ordering, which means that if I order by frequency, then we get the uh, lowest frequency word at the top and the highest frequency word at the bottom. Because the engrams tool is really part of the clusters tool, if we go to tool preferences, uh, and click on clusters n-grams, we do see the same options as before. Uh, so I won't explain them here. If you're interested in those options, you should look at the clusters tool explanation that I have in another video. Finally, as before, we can um, clone the results, so we can compare different results easily. And that's basically it for the n-grams tool. Thank you.